In this video, we will show you how to upgrade a Nintex for Office 365 set workflow status action after upgrading your workflow to Nintex Workflow Cloud. After upgrading, the set workflow status action is converted to a SharePoint Online update item action. To capture the same level of information previously contained in the Nintex for Office 365 set workflow status action, you'll need to first create a new column in your SharePoint Online list. For this example, a new hypertext column called Workflow Status was created. This new column will contain workflow status information linked to the Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow Instance Information screen. Once you've created the new column in your list, click Nintex Workflow to open the Workflow Gallery for Nintex for Office 365. Click the Ellipsis menu and select Upgrade Details. When the Upgrade Details panel displays, it shows that the set workflow status actions are not supported in Nintex Workflow Cloud. Click Upgrade Workflow to start the upgrade process. You will receive a notification about the upgrade process. After reviewing, click Start to begin. The workflow is added to the queue and then upgraded. When you see Upgrade Successful, click OK to close the workflow upgrade prompt. Once your workflow has been upgraded, select it within Nintex Workflow Cloud. After it loads, you'll see that some actions are unconfigured. Click the Workflow Upgrade Details link in the upper right corner of the screen. The Workflow Upgrade Details panel opens and displays the items requiring additional configuration prior to publishing. To start, you'll want to create a new text workflow variable. This variable will be used to store the URL for your Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow instance. The URL should be similar to Enter a name for the new variable and paste your Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow Instance URL in the default value field. When complete, save the new variable. Next, add a Create a Text String action to your workflow. In the String Components section, insert the workflow variable you created for your Workflow Instance URL. Click the Context Workflow section and insert the Workflow Instance ID. There should not be a space between these two variables, as the result should be the full URL for your list items workflow instance in Nintex Workflow Cloud. Select Add New Variable in the Results section and create a new text variable to store the complete URL. Select a set workflow status action in your workflow. Ensure to configure the connection if it was not retained after the upgrade. In the Items to Update section, enter the URL for your SharePoint Online site where the list is located. You do not need to enter the list URL, just the site URL, including the last slash. Click Retrieve Lists to refresh the contents of the List Name section. Select the name of the list you're working on and click Add Field. Select the Workflow Status field you created earlier in SharePoint Online. In the Workflow Status field, insert the variable you created earlier containing the complete URL for the Workflow instance. After the URL variable has been added to the Workflow Status field, enter a single comma after it, making sure there is not a space. Next, insert the status variable used in your Nintex for Office 365 workflow. In this example, it is var underscore status. The Workflow Status field should look something like this. Ensure that the update type is set to Items at Root Level, but ignore folders. In the Conditions section, click Add Conditions to open the Condition Builder. The Condition Builder will be used to create a condition on the selected action to ensure it only runs against the current item and not every workflow status entry on your list. In the When field, select ID. In the Operator field, select equals an integer. In the Value field, enter the ID start event variable. Complete these configuration steps for each remaining unconfigured set workflow status action in your workflow making sure to set the action condition so that only the current list item is updated. In this example, since all the set workflow status action items function in the same way, the first fully configured one is copied and pasted near the unconfigured actions. Then the unconfigured actions are deleted. When the workflow has been fully configured, click Save to save the workflow. Once saved, click Publish to begin publishing the workflow. Ensure to select the Deactivate the Workflow in Nintex Office 365 checkbox to prevent the Office 365 workflow from continuing to run. Click Confirm Publish Workflow to complete publishing the workflow. When publishing is complete, 
Click Close Designer to exit. Review the Office 365 Workflow Gallery to verify that the original workflow has been deactivated. Ensuring the Office 365 workflow has been deactivated prevents both versions from running at the same time. To test the functionality of the upgraded workflow, return to your list in Office 365. Create a new list entry by completing and submitting the form and waiting for the screen to refresh. Once the workflow has run, interact with the list item to move the workflow forward and note the changes to the workflow status field. It now shows the current workflow status in text and provides a link out to the Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow Instance page for the selected item's workflow. If you want to find out more on the Office 365 to Nintex Workflow Cloud upgrade, refer to the Upgrade Center section of Nintex Customer Central or the Upgrade Center group on Nintex Community. Thank you for watching.